that might catch you off guard when some seven year olds run up to you and they like some a whole bunch of cute little village kids run up to you and they like hey and then one of them just yell yo 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 my ninja that might catch you off guard it might catch you off guard but <laughs> This is my experience. I feel that I can be as comfortable as I please without Filipino people being offended, without them being scared and intimidated of me. You feel me? I can be my masculine, my funny, my charismatic. I could be my whatever it is that I'm in. If you didn't already know this, half of these motherfuckers is black black i ain't saying they african-american i'm saying they're black skinned like the 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 inner this this particular side of asia is not what the program is the program in america is we think chinese well but this side of asia they actually got that history the negro history bro is the island here you guys Negro's Island. Negro, Negro, you get the picture. And I'm not telling you like, hey, they have an island so they should be able to say the word. We're not even talking about that. I'm just saying like the roots of the Philippines resonates with me so well. It compliments things I wish I knew about Asia. Things I wish I knew about Philippines, Asia, but let's go to the Philippines. Let's be in the Philippines. They couldn't exactly strip all of the Philippines of this heritage. That's why you still see dark skinned Filipinos to this day. And quite honestly, most of the ones who do not have that Latino, that Spaniard heritage in their blood, they're actually just brown skinned, anyways. They're brown skinned people. Really beautiful. I was at the court yesterday. Y'all see a video. I'll drop it in like a day or two. And these kids was out there. And I was supposed to play with some other guys. But they ended up pushing back on me. So I went to the court anyways. These kids was over there. And these little girls. And you know how they are. They excited to see a black man. I'm the type of person. I don't mind interacting with the babies. The kids. Because I know I got a good soul. I ain't about to, I ain't about to do them wrong. And... They all was brown skin. They all was like my guy complexion over here. Most of them was brown skin. Kind of like, yo, 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 that's your little sister. And when they said it, they all bust out laughing. And I could see it in her face. She was kind of confused because she didn't know what to make of it. And I, I, I got down on my knee and I was like, y'all right. I was like, your skin is so beautiful. You're so beautiful. And i hope that you know that i just told her like we we're beautiful and then i put my arm next to hers and she was literally like the same complexion as me and then i was like I, how you refer to a youngin out here you say die so they got die they got kuya they got ate they got bye and i said like um guapa guapa die or die guapa telling her like she was a beautiful and then I told all of them that they was beautiful because at the end of the day, we were, we are. And as I started to play basketball, that little, you can see that little girl started to come out of her shell more. And they they really was calling me, her my little sister, like more people. When a black man pulled up to the basketball court in the Philippines, over a course of 30 minutes, the whole neighborhood will be outside. It's very, very interesting. And I'm sitting out there with, with these kids and I'm thinking to myself like, Dale, the Instagram post was right. Y'all ever see them Instagram pictures when it say, this is what the real Filipino kids look like. And they show you some black ass kids. And when I seen those posts, I would be like, I believe it. But I started asking people. So I started asking Filipinos. I started asking Filipinos who did not live in the Philippines. I'm like, yo, be honest, is this true? And they like, no, it's not true. We're we don't get that dark. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are y'all talking about? I'm here. I'm here. It's people here blacker than me. And then of course you got Africans and then of course you got the ones who are mixed with um, biracial parents and 
the other shit like that. But bro, like, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. These are the things I wish I knew about coming to Asia. I wish I knew that out of all the Asian countries, the Filipinos know how to use the seasoning. See, when you go to Thailand, they use Thai seasoning, which is usually a combination of spicier, spicy, sour, sweet. That's that's the bulk of the most Thai food. The Philippines, boy, from my preference, I get I get that taste of home. It's like, damn, oh, Ate, you know, oh, you did something with that chicken. It ain't just chicken and grease. Mmm. Mmm. I'm tasting the chicken right now. I'm tasting it right now.